Video 9 Cloud Deployment Models. In this video, we'll talk about various cloud deployment models. There are primarily four cloud deployment models public cloud, private cloud, community cloud, and hybrid cloud. Let's take a look at each one of them. Public cloud. This is easy to understand. Public cloud is where a cloud provider like Amazon, Google, or Microsoft provides cloud services to any organization or entity which can pay for their services and use them. The cloud is publicly available for anyone with a valid credit card. So far, whatever we have discussed, we have been talking about public cloud. Private cloud. So a while ago, there was a survey done on some of Fortune 500 company about what is their average CPU utilization of their hardware resources. It was found that less than 5% of their hardware was being utilized. The research realized that it is because of two factors. One is that the cost of overestimating the hardware needs is much less than the risk of underestimating. No one gets fired for overestimating hardware needs. But if your system crashes due to underestimation of hardware needs, you might be in trouble. Thus, most IT professionals err on the side of overestimation of hardware resources needed. The second reason is that the procurement time of hardware takes months in most organizations. From the time you purchase, the time taken for delivery, networking, software deployment, takes a good two or three months. The first effort to tackle this issue was hardware virtualization. Let's say that a company has two teams, team A and team B. They both require one machine each and each of the server has capacity of 8 GB RAM and two cores each. Let's say team A system is really popular and it is using up all the memory and all the CPU available on the machine and is in need for more memory and CPU. Meanwhile, team B is not really using much of its CPU or memory. So what is the solution here? It is not possible to shift over some of the team B's resources to team A in traditional IT infrastructure. The first big idea that came into the market for this was virtualization. So instead of buying two servers, each of which has 8 GB RAM and two cores, the company would buy a bigger server with 16 GB of RAM and four cores and deploy a virtualization layer like VMware ESXi, Microsoft Hyper-V or Zen on top of it. Now, two virtual instances with 8 GB RAM and two cores each will be created on top of the same physical machine and provided to respective teams. If you look at the previous issue where team A needed more resources and team B had resources that they were not using, as both these virtual servers are on the same physical hardware, now one can customize to have some of team B's capacity be given to team A. Hardware management becomes easy and whenever team requires resources, they quickly get them. So companies started buying big servers, providing virtual machines out of them. But as the number of virtual machine grew, manually starting and stopping the VMs and managing the resource became a cumbersome and error prone process. This led to the introduction of a software layer on top of this virtualization layer that figured out which VM belonged to which physical machine, who is using which machine, which CPU is being used, when it started and stopped and so forth. And then this led to the task of managing VMs from being a manual process to an automated one. This software layer could give you UI which allowed you to start and stop VMs at will. So, at the UI, you could ask for 10 virtual machines of desired size and the duration for which you needed the virtual machines. The software would then scan the available infrastructure and provision VMs for the desired amount of time and afterwards release them automatically. It kind of behaves like a cloud to the user using the UI. After some time, vendors were trying to sell it and started calling it 
the private cloud. This is sometimes also called a false cloud or a fox cloud because the technology being used here is very different. Private cloud is to increase the utilization of hardware and enhance manageability of companies' internal ID resources. Community cloud. Community cloud is a private cloud managed by two or more companies. Why would you want something like this? It's mostly cost. Let's say there are five hospitals in an area. Hospitals require huge IT infrastructure to store patient information, MRI scans, report, and other such data. In US, they have to go through HIPAA compliance where they have to get their data center audited every year. For a single hospital to maintain its own data center would be very costly, especially with the compliance. So they might have a community cloud where they can share the expenses of the data center and the cost of compliance. The Singapore government has recently started a government cloud where any Singaporean government entity that requires servers can provision them there. This is an example of community cloud. Hybrid cloud. When one uses two different kinds of cloud at the same time, it is called a hybrid cloud. You can imagine that when a private cloud is out of capacity, how does it get more service? Some private clouds have an orchestration layer where they can go to a public cloud like Amazon or Azure and get a machine from there and then give it to one of the users when its own resources are saturated. This kind of cloud where private and public cloud are used together is called a hybrid cloud. In this video, we talked about different cloud deployment models. We will next talk about some popular cloud companies, services and products.